Barabanko is the biggest sand dune in the world. I had no idea people could ski in a place like this. Once you're at the top, you have about 4,000 feet of vertical drop until you get to the bottom. I will remember that moment for the rest of my life. Let's do this! My name is Emma Dahlström, I'm from Sweden and I'm a professional free skier. I'm Jesper Schäder, I'm also a professional free skier. We're both on the Swedish national team. We travel all over the world to ski, but we usually go to the mountains where it's cold and snowy. When we got to Peru, we started in a small oasis called Huacachina. You would look around and all you could see is desert. I was really nervous for my first round in the sand, because obviously it's not snow. It felt sticky in the beginning, but when you got some speed, it felt pretty similar to snow actually. It felt pretty cool to ski in shorts and a, and a shirt. Yeah! We stayed there for about three days and did some rails and jumps. And then we headed out to Cerro Blanco, which is basically one big mountain of just sand. Once we were at the base of Cerro Blanco, we hiked with all our gear for about three or four hours. By the time we got to the top, it was completely dark. That next morning, when we first saw the view, that was magic. I watched the sun come out over the mountains, and then we just dropped in. It was such a crazy feeling, and I was smiling the whole way down.